Hey guys, this is for you guys that have to leave your car, molt the air in the winter and you forget to turn it on or you can't turn it on and then you go to start it and it won't turn on. So if you're finding this video, you found out that yes, these multi airs, what happens is the top of the engine that basically down in here that work your valves, there's little hydraulic solenoids right here that control your intake valves. They will not turn on because the oil drains out of the top of the engine, down, you lose your prime, they're not gonna open. So first indication of this, okay, if you come to the car and you turn on your You turn everything on, the light's green, everything's good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this on. See the oil, the oil pump right there? That will stay on. So as the car is cranking, I'm gonna just gonna turn this so you can see it. Right there. See the little oil can? So as this is cranking, 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 and it put, 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 you're going to see the oil light stay on. That's an indication you lost your prime. So what you're going to do is, let me get back out of the car. I'm trying to do a quick video so it's not a super long video. Um, what you're going to do is you're first going to come to your fuse block, okay? You're gonna pull your fuse right here. It's right above this five amp fuse. It's the first 15. That's your fuel fuse. And then also on your cover here, it will say fuel, fuel pump. You gotta pull that fuse with the provided fuse puller. Pull that out. Now, this is where I read a shitload of thread, fr threads and forums and all types of crap. And I came across, basically across this fuel. Um, it's a, it's basically a oil block up on top. They call it a brick. So down inside here is a priming pin right down in here. So it's a ball. So if you ever rate that black hole, there's actually, when I looked at this, that was completely dry and you'll see a metal ball bearing sitting right there, dead smack in the middle. It's very small, it's not big. Now, this is what I did to get my car to prime because I tried what they said I tried putting a tube, rubber tube on a bottle and trying to inject oil into that. It didn't work. I tried to sit there, play with it to try to get air out. Air was coming out and then all of a sudden I couldn't get anything out. Tried their method, started it, tried to crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. The oil light stayed on. So I knew it was not going to fire. It was not going to start. So what I figured out was, I think what happens is in this brick, which is the whole length of the engine, it gets airlock. So what I did was I took this funky, you could get these anywhere, any automotive uh, supplier, you know, um, AutoZone, Advanced Auto or whatever. What I did was I took this and I jammed it into the ball bearing just like that. And then you could use something else, but this is what I used. This is roughly a four inch, half inch drive extension. The threads where the cap goes is almost perfect for this. So of course my light doesn't wanna work, there we go. So what I did was with that funky design there, I took this, jammed it right on top of this, jammed it into the thread there, unless you have someone to help you, that forced that bearing open, okay? 
So from there, I went inside the car and then I did their normal method of cranking, 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 cranking. So this is what I did. When I cranked this, when I got into the car and that was set, I was really careful not to, not to disturb anything. I got in the car and what I did was, I then did their method of cranking the car. I did not, they said you're supposed to put your foot to the floor with the gas pedal. I did not. I didn't do that. All I did was I cranked it for a couple of seconds, stopped. So this way your, your starter doesn't overheat. Cranked it again. I did that until this oil light went out. Once the oil light went out, I knew I had pressure. So then I shut everything off. All I did was reinsert the fuse. I took all that stuff off the metal ball bearing, closed the cap, and then fired the car up. Now, just keep in mind, okay, what happened with me, and this is probably going to happen to you. Um, I got in the car, and I. this is when I figured out it wasn't going to start. I cranked it, cranked it, cranked it. It wouldn't start. Stopped. All right, well, let me give it a second. It's been sitting for like four months. Let me do it again. Crank, crank, crank. So now you have all this fuel sitting on top of the intake valves or in the engine, wherever they're shooting it on this engine. And then what's gonna happen is when you get that prime, okay? Because by the time you pull this fuse, you're gonna have fuel up in there. I, st I got it to start, it started and the RPM shot up to like 4,000 RPMs instantly because there was you know, leftover fuel from trying to start it all those times before I figured out, okay, I got to pull this freaking, you know, the fuel pump uh, fuse. So just be aware that if your car, once it does fire up, don't be alarmed. It's not going to go, it's not going to redline. It, it will, like I said, mine went to about 4,000 RPM, a little above it for like, I would say four seconds, five seconds, and then it dropped down. Three, two, and then it started to do the normal high idle. And then that was it. And then as you saw, <laughs> that was literally just the second time this car started in like almost six months. So again, it worked. So that's why I wanted to get this out there because I looked, I looked, I've been looking for about four days now, different forums and this and that, trying all these crazy things. This worked like a charm. So again, you're basically pulling that fuse, opening the cap, getting yourself that funky pick, stick it on the ball, the little ball bearing, push it down, get, a, get something large enough that it doesn't fall in the engine to weigh it down, Crank it, crank it, crank it till it till that oil light goes out. Once the oil light goes out, put the fuse back in, take all that off, put your cap back on so it doesn't shoot oil out when it starts. Crank the like start the car normally without putting your foot on the, the gas pedal and you'll see it'll fire up. It takes a little bit, but it'll fire up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope this helps everybody um, because, like I said, I've been looking for a while. I couldn't find anything on this. Um, this worked like a charm. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps everybody out there with the, um, the open air engine. And I'll see you in the next video.